Yeah. Who's this going to be? Albert. Albert. I thought you were at the bank. Where's, where's, where's Leon? Where's Leon? Where's Leon? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Where were you? Yeah. <laughs> okay, fair enough. So it's only Leon at the bank then. We were together. So were you not together at the bank? I come back first. Ah, you finished at the bank. Yeah. So why is he still there? Uh, he has more money to take. <laughs> 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 All right. Uh, next. Okay, so we're on to uh, geometric now. Okay, so firstly, um, what exactly is a geometric sequence? So take an example like this, 2, 4, 8, 16, etc. Uh, what's the next number? 32. 32. So each time here, you're multiplying by, by 2. So... Uh, when we have a geometric sequence, we think about having a first term multiplied by a number, multiplied by the number again, multiplied by the number again. Yeah. yeah. So, vocabulary, A is called the first term. And does anyone know what the OR is called? Ratio. There's two words. That's the second word. Common. Common. Ratio, yeah. Common ratio. <coughs> no, I thought it was really on. Okay, uh, I think I'll just try and move my chair so I can see more people. Uh, that's a little bit better. Okay, and we got this part down? Yep. So let's have a look at some formulas for this. <coughs> Sorry, do you have this? Yeah? Yeah. So the first term is A. The second term is A or. The third term is A or squared. The fourth term is A or cubed. So what do you think the nth term is? So this is our first formula. some examples of how to use this formula first. So let's see. Um, okay. Um, let's go down. Yep. So here I want uh, example one. Uh, find the nth term in this sequence. 10, 20, 40.
Zaka. So what's the first term here? Ten. So the and the ratio? Two. So the formula un is ten times two power n minus one. Now you can simplify that a bit. Uh, we'll talk about this later, but if you didn't know it, uh, this is the same as something like this. Well, actually not. Uh, this is the same as this. Now we'll do all of this after the holidays. That's all we really need to know right now. And if you didn't know it, there it is there. So we can use that result here to say this is 10 times 2n over 2 power 1. 2 power 1, of course, is 2. Uh, divide it into 10, and you get your answer. 5, 2 power n. So if you put n is 1, you get 10. If you put n is 2, you do get 20. And if you put n is 3, 2 cubed is 8 times 5 is 40. So it does work. Okay. Yeah. Next example. How many terms are in this Okay, so it's a little bit like what we did yesterday. Uh, what's the technique here, do you think? What do you do? You have the equation of UN yep. and substitute yep. UN for, for 256, minus 256. So, what's the A here? Yeah, uh, yes. And the OR? Two. So the UN is a or n minus 1, which is minus 2, 2, n minus 1. So the un is minus 2 times 2n over 2, 1, which is minus 2 power n. And the trick is, you say un equals minus 2, 5, 6. So you have minus 2n equals 2, 5, 6. Minus. So you have 2n equals 2, 5, 6. Now what you do next is you go to the side and you have 2, 5, 6 and that's 2 and 1, 2, 8 and that's 2 and 64 that's 2 and 32 that's 2 and 16 that's 2 and 8 that's 2 and 4 and then that's 2 and 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So you have 2, 5, 6 is 2 power 8. So you can go back here and say 2 power n is equal to 2 power 8. So then n must equal 8. Now you know that this method should work because n should be a natural number. So that means you have a feeling you can write this as a number with a power. That's a natural number. So you feel like this method should always work. And it should work because you shouldn't get an answer like this. It means something's wrong. Okay, write that one down please and then we'll, we'll have a look at the uh, next one. <coughs>
Ja tak? Ja? Yeah? Okay. Um, next one now. So here I tell you that the fifth, uh, what example is this? Number three, is it? Example three. I tell you that the fifth term is minus 16 and the sixth term is minus 32. Find the A and the OR. Finished already. Good job. Let's see how to do this. You have A and R. Yeah. Let's see how to do it the slow way. Yeah. No, I didn't expect people to be finished already. Um, so, you know that the fifth term is minus 16. And you know that the sixth term is minus 32. So the sixth term is A or power 5. And that should equal minus 32. And the fifth term, what's that? A or 4, that should equal minus 16. Yeah. Now, how can you find the A and the OR here? Well, does anyone know? Divide, divide yes. Yeah. The trick is you divide both equations. So on the left, you end up with OR. And on the right, you end up with uh, 2. So that's the OR. But that doesn't give us the A. So we sub it back in here. And we get A, 2 power 5 equals minus 32. So A is minus 32 over 2 power 5. 2, 4, 8, 6, uh, minus 1. Yeah. So you get A is minus 1. That's the answer here. Yeah. So write that one down, and then uh, we'll do the next formula. You got this? Next one? Okay. So what's the next formula if we compare this to yesterday's? Sum. The sum. Uh, so the sum is going to be A plus a or plus a or squared etc and then we finish what's the last term here a or power n minus one, n minus one. Yeah. Uh, does anybody know how to prove the formula for this one does anybody know what to do the trick here maybe somebody knows you think you know Multiply it by together, together? Not quite. There is a multiply, though. Do you think you know? It's not the same trick as yesterday. We don't write this uh, again backwards. Last chance? Anybody know? Mm. You get, like, right... Uh, that might be the AR. Yeah. With AR... Uh, N minus one. So nope, not this. Let's try. Not this. No, that's okay. I don't expect you to know it. The trick here is we multiply everything by or. So we have or S N equals A or plus A or squared plus A or cubed, and then we finish at A or N. You remember this? Yeah. Now, what's the next step then? Minus. Yeah. 
minus. So you have Fn minus or Fn equals. This will cancel this. So they cancel diagonally. This will cancel this. There'll be one here that will cancel this. There'll be a cancelling. And this will cancel with the one before it. Leaving you with just this piece and this piece here. So this is equal to A minus A or N. So you have 1 minus or Fn equals A, 1 minus or N. So you have Fn equals A, 1 minus or N over 1 minus or. If or is not 1, you can use this formula. Can you see okay? Or do you need to move over? <coughs> you sure? Okay. Yep. Is it working? Yeah. So let's have a look at some examples of this formula now. No, we're writing. Are your classes affected tomorrow as well? Yeah. yeah. Do you have any classes? Yes. Yeah. Which one? Yeah. Nice. What time? Uh, That's okay. So you're free at 9 o'clock and 10 o'clock? No. No? no. Oh, so you have more than one class. So what time is the group tutorial at? Nine. Oh. Nine o'clock. Uh, and then there's the party thing or something. Yeah. Afterwards. Oh yeah. Does anybody know what a table quiz is? No. no. See, because I think it's a cultural thing. Uh, you don't have table quizzes in China or Malaysia or other countries. No. So everybody gets into little teams on a table. <laughs> yeah. And there's a person that's given questions. What? What's wrong? And you write, the team writes the answers down on the page. Mm -hmm. And then every table gives the answers at the end. And whoever has the most wins the prizes for the table. Now the teachers will be there too. So let me give you some advice. Okay? <laughs> Last time, I was on the table with the biology teacher and the other students. Okay? And we won. Right? But very close to us, in second place, one point behind, only one point, was Connell and Mark. His table. Right? So, my advice is, me, Colum, the biology teacher, Connell or Mark. Don't sit at the table with Dennis. Uh, ah, he's okay. He's okay. Uh, or Stephen Bruce. You don't know him. Uh, she'll be asking the question. Uh, oh, I'd say he'd be good. He only started this year. I don't think. See, I think. See, I think Connor's travelled a lot. Yeah. Yeah. So he might have a lot of knowledge. Yeah. So anyway, just. Stay away from Dennis. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, uh, it's just it's just my advice. Okay. Uh, no, I wouldn't sit beside him. I'm going to try and sit beside Colum, Mark, or Connell. I think Connell now he's very good at quizzes because he does them. Uh, like in in his hometown, yeah. So Con if you can get on Connell's table, that's good too. It's, it's everything, general knowledge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Connell Connell has very good general knowledge, especially about like uh, sports and music, old music. Uh, okay. 
And so does Mark. Yeah, Mark knows a lot about football. Yeah, yeah. And there's usually football questions. <gasps> so you want Mark or Connell for that? Uh, everything except that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, football, no good for me. So this is why I would like to be with Mark or Connell. Wait, what does that mean? This is the problem. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry. You've been warned. <laughs> uh, right. Let's have a look at using this formula now. <coughs> so we, uh, which example number is this now? Four. Four. Okay. <laughs> so we want to calculate S. 6, 1 plus 2 plus 4 all the way up to 32. Okay, so what's the A here? 1, and the OR? 2, and the N? 6. So the formula says S6 should be A, 1 minus OR, over 1 minus R n. That should be 1. 1 minus 2 over 1 minus 2 power 6. Of course it is. Let's <laughs> fix that. Uh, yeah. 1 minus 2 over 1 minus 2 power 6. Right, so that will be 2, 4, 8, 6, and 30, 64, 63. 63? If you if you like that. Yeah. Um, so let me show you, let me prove to you that this formula works. And then we'll do the next one in a moment now. Example um, five. So in a moment we will want to calculate uh, we want to find the sum we want to find Sn, the sum of the first n terms for this sequence. But just before I do that, let's have a look here. Uh, come on. Right. Come on. Uh, so what's the first term? I said it was 1, and the second term is 2 times the last term, so 2, and then we go all the way up until the 6th term, uh, which we stop at 32. So let's add them all up and see that we do get 63, and we do. Just like that. No, don't be too surprised, okay? <laughs> uh, right, so let's have a look at this one now. So what's the A here? Minus 1. Minus 1. And the OR? Minus one. And the n we don't know. So Sn equals A, 1 minus or n over 1 minus or. <coughs> yeah, so that would be minus 1. 1 minus minus 1 n, which we don't know, over 1 minus minus 1. So that'll be minus one bracket one minus minus one n over two. And if I bring the minus inside, I'll finish with minus one power n minus one over two. Because the minus swaps them around. So for example, minus one multiplied by one is minus one. And minus, minus makes the plus here. So that's the answer. So if you know the n, you can know what the sum is. So for example, if the n is 3, what's the first 3 here? It should be, if you add them together, what do you get? Minus 1. Yes. So let's try it, for example. Minus 1 cubed. Minus one. minus 1 minus 1 over 2 minus 1, minus one. so you see it works yeah. okay let's have a look at something a little bit more difficult now
Can I scroll down? Uh, minus one, minus three, minus nine, dot, 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 minus seven to nine. We want to add these up. Okay, so uh, what's the A here? Minus one, and the or? Three. three. But the first thing we need to do is work out what the N is. So you know that A, U, N, which is A or N minus one, that should equal minus okay. seven, two, nine. So that means you know that minus one, three, N minus one equals minus seven, two, nine. 3, this minus cancels the minus here, and you have 3n over 3, 1 equals 7, 2, 9. So 3n equals uh, whatever 7, 2, 9 is times 3, which is 2, 1, 8, 7. Now, it has decided it's had enough of teaching you. No, we're back. Um, Two one eight seven. I'm going to guess three power eight. Seven. No. Ah. One, one ah. Three n. This can be changed into three power seven. So the n here is seven. And you already know the a. What did we say it was? Minus mm -hmm. one. And the or is three. So let's calculate the sum. S seven is an a. 1 minus or power n over 1 minus or, yeah. So, 1 minus 3 power 7 divided by minus 2 times minus 1. Uh, minus 1093, is that right? They're all negatives, yeah, so there okay. should be a minus. Minus 1093 is the answer I got. Next example? Yeah. Sorry, do you have this, Sonic? Mm. No. Yeah? Okay. Find the A and the OR. If the ninth term is minus 6561, and the sum of the first two terms is 2. So we want to find the A and the R. Okay, this one's a little tricky. Yeah? Ready to see this? Or some people feel confident they can get the answer. You want to try it first? Yeah. You can try and fail, but it's okay. Yeah. Try for a minute. Yeah, U9 and S2. Give it a try, so.
Okay, you've decided not going to happen. Some others have decided this as well, yeah? You think you can get it? Still think you can get it? All right, well, the rest of us will look at it then, okay? So, the first thing you can see is here, this is A or power A must equal minus 6561. And here, you could say it like A plus A or must equal 2. Or, right, if you wanted to use the formula, it's the same thing. You could have said here, A... 1 minus or squared over 1 minus or you could have said that equals 2. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Now, if you did do it this way you could simplify this by using long division. But after you simplify it you'll end up with this result. So you might as well start with that at the beginning. Here you get a or 8 equals minus 6561. And here you get a, 1 plus or equals 2. Here you get a equals minus 6561 over or 8. And here you get a equals 2 over 1 plus or. Yeah? Here you get minus 6561 over R8 equals 2 over 1 plus R. I'll give you a moment to catch up. So, who's got any ideas for what to do next? What's yeah, what's this called? <laughs> uh, I'll give you, hang on, let me give you the vocabulary. So, uh, when you have something like this, yeah. and this goes here, and this yeah. goes here, yeah. yeah? Does anyone know what that's called? Yeah, Cross! Yeah. Multiply. Cross, you know this word? Yeah. Like this. Okay. Yes, cross multiply uh, is a good idea, but not right. Yeah. No, no. What you should do here is swap some of them. So you have here uh, minus six five six one over two equals or eight over one plus or. It's too difficult. Uh, it's too diff. Yeah, she said. Yeah, you know. It's too difficult to solve this. Too, too difficult. But this isn't too difficult. Uh, let me show you. Now let me think. One moment. Right. No, this is, huh? The value of R. Yeah, I'm getting to it. Watch the magic. Some magic's <laughs> going to happen now. Um, 
Right, so what you can do is rewrite this. Uh, six five six one over minus two. <laughs> well, it's magic. Watch, okay. Continue. Yeah. So you're all thinking, where's he going with this? And then you change it into six five six one over well, uh, minus two is the same as one minus three. Yeah, yeah. Go with me. Yeah. Six five six one over one plus minus three. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you get this? No, we don't know that yet because we can't. Yeah. If we have a over b equals c over d, it is very wrong to say b equals d. We can't do that. So not yet. Almost. So now I can change this um, into minus 3 um, with a minus 8 yeah. all over 1 plus minus 3. This here is still 6561 yeah. because the, uh, this minus will be, will be a plus. Oh, sorry, did I do this? No, and this minus here makes the top a minus. But the yeah. The bottom would be a minus, so in total it's a plus. No, I need a minus. Something went wrong. Uh, that's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah, don't need minus. Yeah, sorry. That's wrong. That's right. Equals or 8 over 1 plus or. So r equals minus 3. We still have to get the a though. Um, so if I use uh, this formula, a is 2 over 1 plus r. a is 2 over 1 plus r. That's 2 over 1 minus 3. So the a is minus 1. If you're thinking this is difficult, you are right. It is difficult. <laughs> if you are thinking this is too difficult for the exam, you're also right. Okay. Okay. Yeah, in a very complicated way. I still think it's good practice for you, though, to see difficult questions in class. It'll make the exam feel easier. Yeah. <laughs> it's worse the other way, to do easy questions in the yeah. class and the difficult questions in the exam. Okay. Uh, so let me mark which ones you need here. Um, yeah, I think. Does come with the midterm exam? Yes. Oh, this one? No. Um, yes. 1F, 2D, 3F, 4F, 5D, 6E. 7D, 8C, uh, 8F, I thought that was the last one, uh, 9B and 10. No, in fact, it's related to your assignment. Uh, there's a small, hey listen, there's a small typo in the last question. It should say, hint, what is the A and or for the sequence, not other sequence, and it should say a half e n and a half e minus n. What's wrong? The last question. The very last question. Question uh, seven, which one? F. No, D. Hang on. No, no. Just do this. Just do the last one in each part. What's the problem? Wait. In the last question, it should have said what is the A and or for the sequence a half E N and a half E minus N. That's what I should have said.
Correct. Uh, so what you can do is you can try these for about five or ten minutes and then we'll do the tutorial then. Okay, so you can work on this for a few minutes. You might even finish them. Uh, how many did I give you? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One minute a question? Two, two quick? Five minutes a question? <laughs> See how much you can do in a few minutes. 